It is the Ether Revolt Magic the Gathering 15 card booster pack. We're going to open one of these and review some cards we opened from previous booster packs. And we're going to pick up the last lane locker. Boom! Tesseract, Master of Metal. That card's going for about six bucks right now. That's it. That's it. But there's a twelve dollar box here, so one card worth half the value. Not freaking bad. Plus it has two boosters. You might actually get another one of those dudes right in there. Um we might get another one here. This was only four bucks for this. Not bad. Fifteen cards. So anyways, quick review. Uh all the cool cards I got. We got an emblem. I can't find this on checklists and stuff. We got emblem for Tesseract himself. It says at the beginning of combat on your turn, target artifact you control becomes an artifact creature with base power and toughness five five. Pretty cool. All right. Also, we have a legendary creature. Not worth much. This is Kari Ziv, Skyship Raider. She got a little monkey by the name of Ragavan. Um, it says, whenever Kari Ziv, Skyship Raider, attacks, a create a legendary 2-1 red monkey creature token named Ragavan that's tapped in attacking. Exile that token at the end of the turn. Yeah, bitch, I want to spread it. Anyways, she looks pretty cool. I want her to play with my monkey. That'd be nice. Next. <laughs> oh, you know, we got Ajani, the Valiant Protector. Uh, there's a few Ajani's in this series. This is just the one that came with the, uh, the Planeswalker box. Uh, we also got two Ajani's aids up in here. Pretty cool. So with this, it says, when Johnny's Aids enter the battlefield, you may search your library and or graveyard for a card named a Johnny Valiant Protector, and reveal it and put it into your hand. If you search your library this way, shuffle it. So, once you search your library, you gotta shuffle it. It's a foil card. We got something called a uh, Ether Geode Miner, which says when Ether or Ether Ether Geode Miner attacks, you get two energy counters. Which I actually have an energy counter thing here. Look at that. Ooh, that's for the series as well. So that's a rare one. Also, we have. Solomon, a solemn recruit, oh, another rare creature, dwarf warrior, he has double strike, revolt, with revolt, at, at the beginning of, of your end step, if a permanent you control left the battlefield this turn, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it, on solemn recruit, okay, yeah, we got dead eye harpooner, uncommon, uh, what else we got? Uh, we got uh, airdrop, aeronauts. That's uncommon. Inspiring roar. Yeah, we got some RA cards. They play well with each other. This one, look, we got um, aid of the cowl from the cowl. It's a rare revolt at the beginning of your end step. If a permanent you control left the battlefield. This turn reveal the top card in your library. If it's a permanent card, you put it back onto the battlefield. Otherwise, you may put it to the bottom of the library. Ah, okay. This one got Death Touch here. Narnium Renegade. I think you got a few of them. I got two of them. Not bad. Death Touch. Not bad. Only cost one. This one, Johnny's Comrade, has Trample. Uncommon. Um... If you control a Johnny Planeswalker, uh, put a 1-1 counter on it. So you could really beef him up, apparently. Yup. Yup, yup, yup. So, that is just what I got uh, so far from the Johnny uh, Planeswalker pack. Um, I think I will switch cameras and phones for my um, 
Aether Revolt 15 card booster pack opening. Uh, but before it goes, 